Okay, so today we are talking about nippy, bitey horses. We're not talking about the biting, the what people would call an aggressive biter, you know, a horse that's going to attack you in a stall, that, that kind of biter. We're talking about the little back and forth nippy that a horse will do. Um, when I first started my my horsemanship journey, I was was um, with a mentor of mine that I, I asked him, and again, I was at a young age, and I asked him, what do you do for a bitey horse? You know, what do you do, how do you fix a nippy horse? And at that time, he told me, he says, well, just stay out of their mouth. And to me at that time, I, I didn't understand what he meant, and that was all his explaining that he did. Um, and so I went on a little journey for quite a while, looking and trying and doing a million different techniques. Watched everybody that was out there on when they would talk about a nippy horse and how they would fix it. And, and some of them were semi-successful. Um, some of the tricks were semi-successful. Uh, most of them encouraged more. But as I look back, back at it now, he was he was a hundred percent right. Stay out of their mouth. You could take it another way. Stay out of or away from their face. Now I'm not telling you 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 don't mess with your horse's face because you have to bridle, you have to halter, you have to do stuff with their face. But if you have a nippy horse, or if you have a horse that's kind of headed that direction, the the worst thing you want to do is be in a spot where you could get in their mouth. You know, this little horse, he's not hes not a bad nipper at all, but he could do it. If I was somebody that was standing closer, you know, if I was standing in here and encouraging him by touching his face all over, then I would get probably, probably bit. Um, one thing I see a lot of people do, with horses. They are all over the nose and the mouth area of their horse. They're, they're all over their whiskers, all over, just, just, they maul their horse's face. Um, I don't, I don't really care whose horse it is. They don't like that. They don't like to be mauled and touched there and violated you know that is a very sensitive spot for a horse all their whiskers their vibrista that that is incredibly sensitive to a horse so we get in that area and then we encourage some of that that behavior that we're trying to trying to not not have so if you have a, a young horse if you have a horse that um especially a young horse, any horse. I mean, we can, we can teach them to, to put up with it. And then eventually it looks like the horse really, really likes it. Um, feeding them treats by our hands, being up in their face, a young horse, a, a stud horse, you know, anything like that, stay out of their mouth, get, get out of that, that spot where you're going to encourage that. So as you can see with this little horse, he's, because of my videoing here, I have to be a little closer than I would normally, but I'm, I'm trying to stay out of his mouth. I'm blocking, I'm pushing. Um, I don't want to get into the bite smack, bite smack, bite smack, bite smack that so many of, of the training techniques, you know, they have, oh, stand with a crop in your hand anytime the horse bites, you smack it. The thing with with reprimanding a horse, if it bites you, you're already too late. If it if it got a hold of you, it, it should have been stopped before before that 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 time. Um, so I'm going to step out of his his area here just because I'm too close and I'm encouraging him to be that way. So I'm not saying.
can stand at the end of the rope like you've got a fire breathing attack dragon there but don't be right in that that area that's going to get you bit because human nature if a horse bites us we're going to smack it and like i was just stating it became it becomes this bite smack bite smack bite smack it becomes a game to the horse really um because we're late and if you watch horses play with each other they do this bite 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 back and forth you know rear whatever um that it it just becomes becomes that way so you know there like as i was stating there's all these different i've heard everything from have a tack in your hand and poke the horse when it looks at you to bite you um, smack it with a whip do do all that kind of stuff but if you if it boils right back down to it stay out of their mouth this will go away if you have a horse that is a young horse a horse that's not already a confirmed into this stay out of their mouth and it's going to go away it will what i would really encourage you to do is stay out of this area that doesn't mean you can't bridle them and halter them and stuff and saddle and do everything that you need to do in this in this space but it means you know don't be sticking your leader up so many people when they're talking to their friends they're they're not even they're not even understanding what what they're doing you know or you know they're holding here while talking to their friends right now i'm in i'm in my horse's i'm in my horse's face if i'm going to talk to my friends and i have a horse that might might be a little nippy i'm going to talk to my friends out here when i'm not paying attention to my horse if i was not paying attention to my horse i'm going to be out of that that horse's bubble out of its space now i'm not ever just you know sitting here talking and talking and talking and not paying attention to the horse because i try to you know constantly constantly be aware of that that animal but i'm not gonna be right underneath my horse's chin right around its face all you know all the time especially if i'm if i'm not aware because that's the quickest way to get yourself bit it's the quickest way to encourage your horse to bite um and this, you know, fingers in their face, oh, he's so cute, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, they're cute. And yes, I love to pet my horse. If I'm going to pet a bitey horse, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna block the eye, and then I'm gonna pet them on their neck. They look around, and then I'm gonna get out of there as soon as things get decent. I'm gonna get back out of the space. So I'm going to I'm going to find the spots that my horse likes and I'm going to encourage them to to like me in and around them. I don't want them thinking every time I come in I'm going to be, you know, batting against them. Um but he can't bite me from here. You know, he he's not going to I've seen so many people with facial injuries and chest injuries and you know, horses playing with their zippers and stuff. If I'm here, he's not He's not gonna get me and he's not a horse he's gonna get me anyway but if you had a horse that you know is constantly after that um, the, so all the way all the way back the the truth of the matter on bitey horses nippy horses stay out of their mouth you know just just stay stay out of their mouth stay out of their face do what you have to do but don't encourage that that behavior don't start that behavior because they're not they're not thinking of that to start with we we do that to them we we start that they're not they're not born thinking oh i'm i'm going to steal a treat out of this person's pocket or i'm you know going to look for everything and there's all kinds of things on feeding treats with your hands to horses I don't do it if I'm going to give my horse a treat. It's going to be on the ground or in a bucket or wait till I'm done riding. Give them their whatever it is. Um, but I don't, you won't ever catch me feeding a horse a treat out of my hand. That again puts my hand in their face 
and in a spot that I don't want them biting my hand. I don't want to put something in my hand and say, here, bite it. You know, I don't, I don't want that. So that's, again, stay out of their mouth.